word with apostle and teacher Lior Joseph. Let's tune in to hear from the word of God. Praise the Lord and welcome to Living by the Word. What a pleasure, what a joy as always to be able to come to you with the living word of the Lord. Remember, this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. It's a choice we make because the Lord made that day. We know it's going to be good. So we are rejoicing. Amen. And we're going to be glad in it. Because God is going to do good things for us. And remember this also. Man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. And as our announcer, my daughter Alicia says. Tune in and listen to the word of God. Even as my wife comes and greets you. Praise the Lord. <laughs> And I'm sure you got up this morning. Some of you are rejoicing. Some of you are smiling. Some of you are just jumping up. You're so excited for the day. And some of you are sad. But let everything that has breath praise the Lord. We still have to praise the Lord still in spite of our condition. We still have to give him praise because we are alive. We can see. We can hear. We can speak. We can walk. You can do all these things, and all these things you can do, and give him praise. Why? He is worthy to be praised. Amen. And so we have been dealing with the subject, very, very important subject, on how to hear the voice of God. Because it is so important to hear God's voice, to know what God is saying. And not just the written word, because so many people believe that the only way God can speak to them is by the word. And I believe that because I say that every time we gather, you know, we come to you, man shall not live by bread alone, but every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Uh, and some people believe, well, the word that came from the mouth of God is what we have, the written word. But understand this. God is a living God. You know, God is not some, you know, entity, some great prophet who came and they left their writings and we have their writings and that's what we go by. No, no, no. God is a living God and God speaks to us. We, his children, by his spirit. And as a matter of fact, God is speaking and we, we read a scripture last week, you know, day by day, author of speech. So God, the word is being released every day. Yes, we have the word of God. And that word of God is settled. And he watches over his word to perform it. But the, he is a living God. And that's what relationship with him, you know, uh, brings into our lives. That God daily speaks. My goodness, what would I be or where would I be if I did not know the voice of God. If God, so to speak, was not speaking. You know, if God was not speaking. Because, you know, everything we want to know. All right. Everything we want to know. We, unfortunately, we can't find a verse and a scripture for everything in life. Especially certain areas of personally knowing what the will of God is for our lives. We need a word from God. And for those of us who've had the Holy Spirit, 
and Jesus said this, and I, 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 I taught on that when we taught on the work and person and work of the Holy Spirit. God speaks to us by his spirit. And so we want you to know that you can develop that relationship with God so that you will be able to hear the voice of God. Relationship is what? Somebody said, you can't have a relationship with God. No, we can't because Jesus Christ has come into our life. God is our heavenly father. And the root word for relationship is relate. Relate. You, we can relate. Before we were saved, we could not relate to God because we were dead in yes, trespasses and, and sins. In sin. But mm -hmm. now that we've made a life, we've been made alive, we can relate to God, right? Because we are alive in our spirit. And not only that, he said he, we were created right. in his image and in his likeness. Yeah. So we, and he also said again, we are his friends. Mm -hmm. Call us friends. Amen. So if you're a friend, we, we, we can relate. We can, definitely can relate to him. Amen. And, and that is what people need to understand. And you take me right back <laughs> and it's kind of going away from where. But it's something that they need to understand. That when God created man, the Bible says we were created in the image mm -hmm. and likeness of God. Mm -hmm. God is what? Spirit, right? Spirit is non-material. So we were created in the image and likeness of God. So you see that we were created like God. <laughs> Don't turn it off now. We were created like God in the image and likeness of God. God is spirit. So it means that we were created, Adam was created a spirit being. being. Mm -hmm. he, were created, he was created a spirit being. And it was after he was created. Create means to bring into existence out of nothing. All right? Out of nothing. So if he was created like God in the image and likeness of God, it means that he came into existence out of nothing. So before Adam was Adam, Adam was spirit. And we heard, we read later on, that God created Adam in his image and likeness, and then he formed him out of the dust of the ground, and then he breathed, breathed into him, into him spirit. and man became, what did he breathe? He breathed spirit, spirit into that which right. was formed, mm -hmm. and man became a, a being soul. which is a soul. So man now is a spirit, Body. He has a soul and, a body. and lives in a body. But when sin came, mm. we became dead in trespasses and, and sin. sin. Mm. We could not relate to God. But when Jesus Christ came, he came to give us eternal life. That's why Ephesians said that we were, now, we were um, dead in trespasses and in sin. But now that we are alive, alive. we have mm. spirit. Our spirit is now alive. That's why the Bible says over and over, he that have an ear, let him hear what the spirit is saying. Yes, so, so, the, so we can relate with God. We can have a relationship with God. And like that, so you said, you know, God says we are now his friend. I don't call you any servant. I, I call, call you friend, friend. Mm -hmm. because a servant does not know what his master does. So God wants to bring us you know, relationship mm -hmm. so that we can hear from him, we can relate to him, and we can be able, we will be able to experience the blessings of God. The blessings of God. But again, he wanted to be, he wanted us to be able to relate with him because he came down. Mm -hmm. He came down as man and he was able to feel the pain, when he went to the cross, he was able to feel the pain. So he knows now, and we know now, that when we have pain, we know that he felt pain. When he, he fasted, he was hungry, so he knows when we are hungry, he can feel all that thing. So he would definitely want us to have a relationship with him. So he, because he came down, so we can relate, he can relate with us, whatever we are going through. Amen. Amen. And, and so let me read the scripture, foundational scriptures, as we go into more teaching on the subject, how to hear 
the voice of God because we believe that the key to your blessing is the ability to hear, to hear his voice. Whether he speaks to us through the written word or he speaks to us by his spirit. his spirit to our spirit. And we will see over and over that you as an individual can have a relationship with God. But, you know, I, I think also that, you know, some people get dreams. Mm -hmm. He can speak to you through dreams. I remember I had a, that, an experience like this where my daughter had her ears more. And I saw it in a, in a dream that something was wrong with her ear. And the moment I got up that morning, I went straight to her ear. And there it is. There it, I saw it was all fested and something was stuck in her ear. I walked in obedience. I was able to see that and squeeze it and get that thing out and got her, got her ear to be healed because I saw it in the dream. Yeah, I, I sensed it in my spirit that something was wrong right. with her ear and I went straight to her ear when I got up that morning Amen. and saw it. Yeah. it was and so we'll be talking about the various ways that God would speak, speak to us, mm -hmm. all right? And it's all in the scripture. But let me read. John chapter 10, verse 27. My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me. In Mark chapter 6, chapter 4, verse 25, rather 23 to 25, I want to read it in the, the New Living Translation. Anyone with ears to hear, should listen and understand. Then he added, pay close attention to what you hear. The closer you listen, the more understanding will be given to you. And you will receive even more. To those who listen to my teaching, more understanding will be given. But for those who are not listening, even what little understanding that they have, it will be taken away from them. So we said last week that your success in life as a child of God is to hear his voice, listen to his voice. Obey. So you listen in order to get understanding and then you obey. And the way you obey, it's by doing what you yes. heard. Mm -hmm. Bible says this. Mm -hmm. The Lord gives wisdom. From his mouth comes knowledge, knowledge and understanding. understanding. Mm -hmm. All right. So it is so important. If you want to succeed in life and God wants you to succeed. And you see throughout the Bible, throughout the scriptures, that people succeed succeeded in their lives by obeying what they heard. And God is a good God. He's your father. So he wants you to succeed. He wants to reveal his will to you. So he will speak to you. So let's talk about what are some of the hindrances to hearing the voice of God. And we were zeroing in a number of them. And I found out like the first hindrance to hearing the voice of God is ignorance. Ignorance. Hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says this. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because they have rejected knowledge. And, and, and a lot of times we quote this verse, but we only quote the first part. The first part says, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. And the lack of knowledge it brings you or, or leads you into ignorance. In other words, the key to destroying ignorance is knowledge. All right, knowledge. But here's what God says. The reason why they are destroyed, 
the reason why they, his people are facing destruction is that knowledge comes. And the purpose of knowledge is to take you out of ignorance. And ignorance is when you don't know what to do. And the way to overcome ignorance is through knowledge. And notice what? The Lord, knowledge comes from the Lord. The Lord give wisdom, notice, but from his mouth, from his mouth comes knowledge and understanding. But here's what it says in that second part that is key that so many people miss out on. He said, the Lord gives wisdom and knowledge. Notice what he says. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Notice, because they have rejected knowledge. So in other words, knowledge came, but they rejected it. They rejected it. They refused to obey the information that came to them. And because they do, then they are in that state of ignorance. And because they are in that state of ignorance, all right, because they're in that state of ignorance, they find themselves in a state of destruction. They are being hurt because of this. So knowledge comes through God speaking. And to reject knowledge is to reject or refuse to listen to the voice of God. Are you listening? God is speaking. What is the thing that you do not know? All right? What is the thing? And that's the thing about when you don't know, you go to God. And we talked about that, the avenue of prayer. We ask God. But the problem is with so many of us, we go to God, we ask, we ask, and then whether we're on our knees, we close our prayers, and we walk away. But we do not take time to stop and listen to what God has to say to us. How many of us, we prayed this morning? You know, we had our time of prayer. Did we ever stop based on the things that we ask God? And Jesus says to us, and you will receive. Receive what? The answers. How many of us, we ask, but we did not wait to get an answer from God? You know that? So many people, they've prayed. Because the Bible says, ask and we will receive. You know, and so if we are going to receive in anything that we do, you know, when we put a request out there, we expect to receive an answer. You know, we wait for an answer. Some people, maybe they, you know, you, 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 you go to your doctor and you did some tests. We wait to receive an answer. <laughs> you know, I believe that if... As Christians, we really take time to read his word, know what he's saying, and as, as I always emphasize, memorize it, what he's saying as well, so that when he speaks, you would know, because you know the word of God. So if you cannot hear his voice, but when you go in the word of God and you read it, you say, wait, that is exactly what I am hearing in my spirit. It's lining up with the word of God. And that's how you know God is really speaking to you. But as I said, stop running around and asking everybody for their opinion. Because each one would have their own. And some might not be on the same level as you. You know, they might not be on the same page with you. So that when you ask them now, they might think differently. But line up what you are hearing with the word of God. And when you do that then you cannot go wrong when you make that decision. You know, again, isn't prayer, you know, when I got saved, they gave me some basic things to do to be successful as a Christian. And one of the things that, that they said is pray every day. Mm -hmm. All right, pray every day. And they, they, they didn't really 
fully explain and it was and say what is prayer prayer is talking to God but while this is true but it is not really true in other words we can build our relationship by just me talking or just you talking. having a conversation well, exactly mm. we have a conversation we have to learn how to communicate communicate all right how mm. you mm. to communicate and so we expect a response mm -hmm. from the person that we are talking Absolutely. to. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. and, and so, and the way to get a response, they're trying you that to wait. you need to stop talking. Yeah, wait. And listen. listen. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying mm -hmm. that the hindrance to people hearing the voice of God is because they're ignorant about the whole area of relationship with God and communicating with God. And, and so people just figure, prayer, I'm, I'm talking to God. You know, I'm talking to God. I just talk to God, talk talking, to God, talk to God. Talking. But don't spend time to listen. Wait, wait and listen and wait hear what he has to say. Wait and listen to what God is saying. Back and to you. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's why I say, we are in that state of ignorance, ignorance. Mm -hmm. because we, we don't know and we want to dispel. And because of this, you find that we get into a lot of trouble. We get into a lot of trouble because we don't spend time to listen, listen to God. You see, you don't listen and that's why God asks on everybody for their opinion because you're not listening. You're not mm -hmm. staying out and staying in his presence, waiting to hear what he has to say. You're not doing that. You're just very anxious. He said, be anxious for nothing, but by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, make your request known unto him. He said, be patient. Take time to wait. Take time to listen. When you take time to wait and listen in his presence, say quietly. Yeah. Right? He says, says be still yeah. and know that I am God. So you stay quiet. And you must hear something. You must hear something. Yeah, so, so, so here's the scripture. The Lord gives wisdom. Wisdom is knowing what to do. And the wisdom of the Lord comes through knowledge and understanding. From his mouth, God's mouth, come knowledge and understanding. And when God speaks, it is important that you hear. He who has an ear. And he's talking about the spiritual ear, not the natural ear. Remember what we said from the beginning? That man was created a spirit being. All right, a spirit being. And you need to understand that your spiritual ears need to be in tune because God does not speak. And we talk about that. God does not speak to our brain, to our mind. People say, well, it came to my mind. No, God speaks to your spirit. And if you are in line with God and in, in, in the right relationship with God, you will hear his voice. Are you listening? From his mouth come knowledge and understanding. God speaks to you so you will not be destroyed. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. God wants you to hear his voice. And when you hear his voice, you listen, you get an understanding, and you obey and do. And when you do that, the Bible says, then you will be successful. Listen diligently, he says, to the voice of the Lord. And then you will be successful. You will be above all others. You will be um, doing well you will succeed your life will there will be prosperity and, and success and increase in your life when you listen to the voice of god remember the lord is positive so anything positive that will come into your spirit i will let you know that that's god it's not it's not the devil the devil will never give you anything positive and your friends that have if they're giving you positive um, answers to what you want, you know it's not of God either. Negative. If they're giving you negative things, yes, excuse me. If they're giving you negative things, you know it's not of God. But God speaks positive at all times for us to really take heed to what he's saying 
And so when you speak the positive things, compare it with the word of God. Whenever you get that positiveness in your spirit, compare it with the word of God. And you would know that it's God speaking, as I say, and you take heed to that, apply it to your life, and you would see positive results. Amen. So what you should be praying, Lord, open my ears, my spiritual ears, so that I can hear. Lord, give me grace so that I can listen. Grace so that I can do what you've said, what you've spoken. In Jesus' name, amen. Remember, we love you. God loves you. And man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Until next time, God bless you. Thank you for watching our program today. We trust you are encouraged. To connect with us, our website is www.pastorwlj.com. Until next time, be blessed.